I'm here at HPE Discover in Las Vegas with Alberto Tempiabondo, and we've got a three-part rack behind us, and you guys announced the new 9450. Can you tell me what's different about that? So last week we announced the 9450, which is our new model, the new addition to the three-part portfolio. It's an old flash array, a mid-range dual socket array. It's not replacing any of the current systems, so it's gonna be, you know, completing our portfolio. And in terms of position, it's gonna be positioned above the 8450. So today we have 8,000 8, family, 20,000 family, and what we're doing with the 9450, we are bridging the gap that we have today between an 8,000 system and a 20,000 system. So when you say bridging the gap, what's, uh, what's inside the 9450? So in terms of uh, specs, uh, the, we basically double the horsepower of an 8450 in terms of uh, scalability and also specs. For example, each controller node has a dual uh, CPU and two ASICs, which is double the amount of what we have today on the 8450. We also have uh, more than double the cache. And so for a four node scalable system, it means that we have double all the, uh, all the technical specs. And in terms of performance, you're getting 70-80% more performance compared to the 8450. So it's a you know, huge improvement at a very little price premium. I will also notice that you uh, more than doubled the size, because I don't know if people can see in the video, but the controller is, uh, is 8U versus 2U. So what is, what's the story there for people who are concerned about density? Yeah, so that's correct. The 8000 is still a more dense platform, because you can start with 2U and 24 drives. On the 9450, uh, you need to start with a controller chassis, which is at 8U and can host up to uh, four nodes. And then you need to add the drive enclosures. So the minimum configuration will be a two node system with two additional drive enclosures and it will take up uh, 12 views. So you have less, a bit less density, but much more performance. And then in terms of like where it falls in, in the price range, you don't have to name prices, but price range relative to like the 8450 and the and the 20,000, is it kind of like halfway in between, less than halfway in between, or does it just yeah, depend? Yeah, so it's going to be pretty close to the 8450. If we consider, for example, a configuration of about 100 terabyte row capacity, the price premium compared to the 8450 is probably going to be around 10%. And if you build a bigger configuration, so that premium goes down to 5 or 3%. So it's really, you know, a little premium, but, uh, but you get much more. All right, well, thanks, Alberto. Thank you.